called jazz standards. Like Freddie Freeloader is, is a jazz standard. So what is a jazz standard? Uh, but when, when you look at uh, songs from the songwriter George Gershman, oh, okay. that's like the American standard songbook. Yeah, see, I, yeah, I don't, I haven't really hmm. dived into that. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's George Gershwin, Cole Porter, another songwriter, uh, and many others. There was songwriting teams. Uh, and so <clears throat> now here's what's important to understand about that. And I think this is what's missing from a lot of music now. Um, unfortunately, as we talked about, this, the, the function in popular music has changed. Mm -hmm. And so those songs like the musicians that are in our generation, my generation and even younger don't know as many of those tunes because you have to research them at this point. Right. See, in my father's generation, those were songs that were popular. Right. Those were songs that musicians were hearing all the time. So they would just know it. They right. just know the tune. And so chances are, um, if you were at a session and somebody called said, yeah, let's do Gershwin, Lady Be Good. All right. They would just know it. You had those songs that were popular. Now, uh, I also have to say that the melodic content in that music was a lot stronger than the melodic content now. And and see the music that the improvised element depend, I really depended on that, more so than most musicians know. Because mm -hmm. musicians at that time, were hearing those songs. They were hearing songs like that. And so, right. or if they weren't, they were hearing classical music or violent music or whatever it is. And so that, that influences the content that they play. Right. And so, um, and I think that later on, musicians, we learn less and less of those tunes. And so the content, the content of the improvisation isn't as strong. Mm -hmm. So, so, and I mean, to be honest, man, but I mean, for, for your generation, it's even worse because honestly, man, the, the music, because I can tell you the music on the, on the radio really does not help you mm -hmm. with anything because it's all computers. Uh, <clears throat> Do you mean like it's too simple? Like, I'm not going to say too simple. There's just not, there's no content. Yeah. I'm not even going to say too simple. There's just no content. That's the thing. So if you play an instrument, there's just nothing there that's really going to help you with learning music or being a better musician or whatever. There's just not right. much that's there because uh, there's no real content and it's a lot of computer programming. Uh, so what I'm saying is if you're trying to learn how to take solos and improvise, mm -hmm. that music isn't going to help you. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to contrast that with music that was popular in the 1970s. Uh, and I tell you, when I really learned, one place that I really learned that was working with but his story was when he got that album, he was so excited because he loved Stevie Wonder's music, he still does. And, and this is popular music. And I think he told me that he like transcribed all the songs in Braille notation. <laughs> and that's a lot of work. Yeah, that's a lot of work. But yeah. the thing is, though, is that in Stevie Wonder's music, there is content there that will help you. There's melodies that are strong. There's chord changes that because Stevie has crazy chord changes on almost every song. Like, like he like the chords move in some weird direction. And you're like, what? <laughs> what just <laughs> happened? <laughs> D major, C major over F sharp, what? What are you doing? <laughs> but somehow it's on top 40 radio. How is this happening? Right. You know, and that's an actual chord. It's on the song, Do I Do, at the very, right before the chorus, that does happen. Play D major and C major on F sharp. That's what that is. Anyway, uh, but <clears throat> so, you know, with, so when you're someone like that, there's these tunes on the radio and there's a lot that you can learn. There's a lot of content in the music. A lot of content in the music. So, um, if you play piano and you take a song like, <clears throat> uh, what is it? I wish, uh, and this is something that Marcus can play on piano, but there's a bass line. 
There's like poor parts and roads parts and you know, so if you play piano, you want to learn that. You're, it gives you kind of something to learn on the piano. Mm -hmm. You know, and something, and then there's like the chords change and the, the chords going to, to these other directions. And there's things that you can learn. And that was with any of that music. You know, I mean, I even heard him playing some Billy Joel once. <laughs> you know, nice. uh, what's the song? My Life. But if you play piano, there's a part. Do dee do dee. And there's chords. Yeah. It's just like a lot. Like there's ways that the triads are broken up. And so there's content, there's things in that music that help you just as a musician, whether it's learning chords, learning melodies, learning mm -hmm. parts, there's that content there. And unfortunately, the music we have now doesn't really do that. There's not really much to help you. So that's why learning this music is even harder now. Yeah. And so right. when you're dealing with learning solos, the musicians back then, like the Charlie Parkers and Lee Morgans, and mm -hmm. I'm reminded of another story of a uh, great pianist, Horace Silver. Mm -hmm. uh, Horace Silver, and this is in later years, this is a few years before he passed away. Horace Silver was judging, a, a, I didn't think it was a piano competition or something, and so you had to grade the students. And he gave them all Fs. <laughs> you know, because he didn't care. And so they, they said, well, man, I mean, you can't just give them all Fs. And so then our Silver's response was, man, I remember when Lee Morgan and Blue Mitchell was 19 and they could play. Here's the problem. He's right, but he's slightly out of context. And mm -hmm. he probably doesn't care. That's fine. Right. When Lee Morgan was 19? <laughs> okay. That was in the late 50s. And so the popular music at that time was you had rock and roll music, which was blues music. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what that was. So you're hearing blueses or you're hearing the, or if you were younger, you were hearing a lot of the standard songs, which were still popular. So you're hearing melodies that, so when you go to improvise, that's what you're hearing. Thanks. You're not hearing rap samples repeated over and over. Somebody sampling some 70s album that they put on loop and the, the, the music doesn't go in. You're not hearing that. Right. You know, you're not, you know, hearing a sound played again and again or tunes that don't have any kind of real melody. No, no, no. They're in melodies. Right. And so it helps with them improvising.